posted this one in the creepy thread ages ago. The story is from an ex-military guy I know from the pub. Pilots flying up in the Northern Territory. Radio into the airstrip he knows the couple that run it. Says he'll be there in four hours, or radio when he's near the airstrip. Gets close to airstrip. Radios the couple in. No reply. Circles and tries again. Still no reply. Goes to airstrip in the next town over. Tell the lads working there that the couple never picked up their radio. They call the police. Police come around to them. They all travel to the airstrip the couple own. Get there about 2 or 3 a.m. The lights in the house are off, but the spotlights are on. Some were shining off into the hill. They walk around the side of the house where the dogs are kept. Two things they notice right away. The dogs are dead, but there were no signs of physical harm on them. They all had looks of terror on their face. It appears they were literally scared to death. Second thing was the side of the house was riddled with bullet holes, but they were fired from the inside out. They go into the house to find the couple dead on the ground, with the man's AR-15 in his hand. They had a look of fear and shock on their faces, same as the dogs, and they were said to have died the same way as the dogs. Police radio it in. At dawn, most of the other police and paramedics get there, and so do some lads from the Air Force. They saw them talking to the police, then came over to the locals and told them to fuck off out of here, and don't tell anyone what they saw or may have heard. The guy who told the lad from the pub I go to was in the USAF, and was involved with Project Blue Book and other UFO related business. He told him strange lights and other strange events had went down in the area the night of the incident.